here's the start of that riff uh, starting in the key of A. Okay, so. So we're starting here on the uh, ninth fret, uh, third string. And now uh, what I'm doing is I'm hitting uh, the third string with my pick, and I'm hitting the uh, second string with my finger. So I'm getting that sort of sound. And the same thing here when I bend on the 12th fret, I'm playing the pick on the second string and my second finger uh, plucking up on that, uh, snapping that first string. So, I mean, if you want, you can go in there with your pick, and you can pick all this with your pick, but uh, uh, na normally I'll just kind of naturally go in there and use pick and finger. So, slowly. Now slide this to the 15th fret. And I'm just kind of doing the same bend here, but uh, a little bit different. Now I'll start this one on the first string and then do a pre-bend and release. And do sort of the same bend we were doing on the 12th fret, but when I end it, what I'll do is I'll hit the first and second strings at the same time and let it come down and get that sound. You see how I'm ending that? Now, that's your A. Now, I'll just slide this two frets to the 15th uh, fret, uh, sorry, the 17th fret, and now we're in our D. And you can do the same sort of bends in here. And that's kind of, to end it, I'm just hitting those two notes. So, okay, and then now what I'm doing is uh, over the E on the 17th fret is I'm hitting uh, sort of like a, a D chord played on the 17th fret, and this would be your E. Now I'll, I'll hit with the pick uh, the third and second string, and then again uh, the second finger on the first string. So you pick down. So you'll hit now, and I guess you'll hit you'll hit this uh, this note uh, played on the string first, and then off. So. And then when I end that, I'm coming up on the second string on that note. And then to get back to A, you're going to come back to the 15th fret, bend that second string. Hit that first uh, uh, first string on the 12th fret. Now do a pre-bend and uh, pre-bend and release. So you're bending the note and just hitting it on the way down only. 
and then back to your A. Now, you know, I might play these different every time, but that's sort of the, uh, the area that I'm playing these in. Okay, now uh, on the second uh, time through here, uh, back in A, now the same little riff that we kind of played here on the 9th and 10th fret in our A, uh, basically you're just doing the same thing here on the 2nd fret. Okay, so we're starting on our 4th uh, string, and uh, just going to the 3rd string underneath it here in the 2nd fret. Again, I'm going pick and finger, pick on the 4th string. Uh, second finger on the third string. Okay, so that's the start of the riff. Now we're going to our steel guitar band. Now when I play this little bend, uh, barring the, the fives on the first and second string, bending with my third finger on the third string here in the fourth fret, I'll pluck uh, or pick rather uh, the third string and then with my second and third fingers I'm hitting or pulling on the uh, first and second string. So that's kind of giving me uh, my steel guitar sound. And so. So again, uh, slowly from the beginning. Bend it and then hit your pinky uh, notes. Then to slide into D, what I'll do is kind of uh, play on the same notes, but I'll just do a little run here, or a little slide. Uh, some sliding on the third string from uh, your second to fourth fret. And then coming down to D here on the second string. Now doing a little bend here again with our third finger and pinky. So from the beginning. Okay. Okay, so that's our D, and now we're going to go to our E. So, so we're starting here uh, on the 15th fret. Now I'm picking with my pick on the second string and my second finger on the open E string. And we're just simply going 15, 17. started okay and then bend that uh, seventh uh, 17th uh, sorry 19th fret so we got 17 19 bend but as you bend that 19th fret you want to hit the open string also Okay, so you keep that first string ringing, and just simply do that on the next uh, two frets here, on the 17th and 15th.
that's basically what I was playing after this. So what I'm doing is sort of like a ghost note on the third string here with my second finger. After that to bring me back to A. And the notes would be uh, 14th fret, 12, 10. And just bringing it back to A. Okay, and then the uh, little last one here I played right before uh, I stopped and it went to the D chord at the uh, end of the little demo. Uh, I just kind of did another little uh, open string uh, riff, another sort of uh, steel guitar uh, riff, I guess you'd call it. So I am hammering on from uh, 9th to 10th fret on the second string with my pick and then my second finger hitting the open E string. And then basically just sliding on the second string into the 12th fret, keeping that open E string ringing. And then as I'm doing those same kind of bends here on the second string, I'm still hitting that open first string to give it a little bit of a different sound. Since this is a, you know, the same note, an E and an E. So I figured, uh, to just do that string open to give it a different sound since you're starting here with the same open string. You know, you could come up with uh, different little combinations, but uh, basically that's what I'm playing. <laughs> 